Hello and welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons, Planescape, Torment, the Enhanced Edition. When we last left off, well, we got our desire taken away from us. Well, it's not the first thing we've lost. Track the young woman smiles funny. Greetings, sir. Would you like to rest now? Yeah, actually that would be nice. Not right now. Let's check our spell book. Um These all spells we want. Looks like it. So, sure, let's rest. Yes, that'd be nice. You've rested for eight hours. Thanks. This room looks familiar. Hmm. Bunch of copper commons. It's me a small enclosed patio through these glass doors. whole bunch of charms. Stiletto, jar of embalming fluid. Ooh. Bunch of scrolls. Blindness. Sure, let's copy that one. Scroll of Pacify. leave you with the pickpocketing for now. Uh, fest hall room key. Key to room within the fest hall. Hmm. Not charm, I think you're using those. Bone charm, I think we can sell those. Evoke blindness, meh. Cockroach charm, plus four to armor class, plus two to armor class versus crushing. Sounds pleasant. Yeah, a lot of this stuff I think we're just gonna we're just gonna get rid of. Okay, yeah, how about you hold on to all this paper? And you've already got in charge of key duty. Ah, you've got the needle and threads. Yeah, why don't you just hold on to those? Hmm. Plus three save versus poison. I might sell that, honestly. All right. I'm here. Do you want to unlock it? What's up? Done. 
Scroll of Fire and Ice, and a Jehikadidra. Well, let's see here. Ooh, level 5 spell. Can I learn level 5 spells? Well, cast level 5 spells? Yes! This heavy Dohecadedron, about the size of both your fists fall together, seems explicitly familiar to you. The texture is cold and smooth, but whether metal or stone, you can't tell. A certain almost intangible tension runs all over the object, ready to spring into the air at any moment. Let's use it. Uh, examine the Dohecadedron closely. Upon closer examination, realize that each side of the Dohecadedron is a plate that can be twisted clockwise or counterclockwise. Appears to be a puzzle box or combination lock, as each of the pentagonal plates have five possible positions, the Dehecadedron has no less than 244,144,625 settings. It would take you know, every second for the next 77 odd years to hit all the combinations, but then you might just get lucky and stumble on a solution that fits. Fiddle with it for a bit. As you methodically twist the cold, gray facet of the Dehecadedron, a strange sensation forms at the base of your skull. Your hands seem to move on their own accord, turning the object and spinning as fast as it into mechanical precision. You've done this before. You know the combinations once, and you also were aware that there is a certain danger within the object. Whether from simple traps or something less mundane, though, you can't tell. Keep working. In moments, you have what uh, might be the first four sides locked away in the proper places. As you begin to twist the fifth side of the Dehecadrian, you call a cunning blade trap that would snap to lash at the meddler's hands slashing at the wrist and severing fingers. You avoid the trap with the proper number of rotations, certain that you've made progress in unraveling the object's secret. Keep working. After avoiding the Hecadedron springing blades, you slowly puzzle out the next series of facet possibilities. Suddenly turn to the ninth side of the Hecadedron, you suddenly remember a second trap, jets of toxic gas that would form a billowing cloud of lethal, corrosive vapor around the curious meddler. Circumvent the trap with the correct amount of twists, positive that you've nearly unlocked the Hecadedron. This is why having high intelligence is good. Keep working. Circumvent the Hecadedron's poisonous gas trap and begin to work your final facet positions. Just as you've lock locked the 12th pentagon into place, you uh, recollect sorcerer's runes hidden within the Hecadedron that would blast the unwittling holder with bolts of magical lightning. After disarming the trap with the correct number of facet rotations, the Hecadedron clicks and begins to open in your hands. Yay! Hecadedron splits once, twice, and eventually unfolds itself into a possibly uh, perfectly rectangular tablet the size of a large book. Etched in the service is a series of bizarre symbols. It looks to be a code or a language that you feel it should be familiar to you, but it's not. Further examination of the tablet reveals that by twisting the pentagonal facet that are now open on the underside of the tablet, different pages may be displayed across the tablet face. You finally realize that the Hecadedron is a tome or journal of some sort. Hmm, until I learn to read this language, I might as well just put Updated it away. Updated my journal. So we need languages. And unfortunately, this game does not give us the spell Understand Language. Let's see here. Anything else we want? Maybe. Bunch of sensates. Container's lock. Hi, what? Might as well. Money. Considering how out of money we okay. are, this is definitely kind of useful. No one seems too perturbed. And we're still lawful good, so maybe. Want to know. Right. Got it. Nothing there. But there is a little thing over here. I might as well. Yeah, another handkerchief. Bracelets. Silver's always useful. Money! I'm 
gone. You did unlock that, right? Yeah, I think right. you did. Yeah. I'm gone. Okay. That's a weird sound. That kind of um, frightened me. Everything in my inventory okay? Let's see here. From here, let's go and talk to the mage. Get him sorted with his drink problem. Um, what's the mug you got? Something wrong? Why don't you stop drinking then? Someone you should speak to. Unfulfilled desire. You can find her in Civic Fest Hall. Talk to her if you love her drink. You'll soon find you won't want it Updated any longer. my journal. Eyes brighten. Truly, I shall go. Speak to her now, then. I thank you, sir. He pauses, looking down his empty mug. Here, I would have you have this. I need it no longer. He hands you the rune covered ale's time. Thanks. Farewell. Okay, okay, okay. Here, I believe we have to go into this place the art store all right let's see what the heck is this thing dark birds of Bacanches. several shards of black crystal or ice swirl within the freezing winds of this ornate pedestal uh, gives forth each shard looks razor or er, shard looks razor sharp touching or grabbing one could be perilous placard in the earth says dark birds of Bacanches. catch one of your frost ale mug you dip the mug into the icy winds rising from the pedestal, catching a small shard with a slight clang. Peering into the mug, you can see the dark bird of razor-sharp black ice. Only the mug's magical properties pre or prevent the shard from melting away to nothing. Useful. Stained glass. Hundred chips, translucent green glass, make up stained window, don't appear to be held together by anything, but rather free floating and mysteriously suspended within the iron frame's boundaries. Shards ripple and move on slow waves, causing bizarre patterns to fluctuate across the window surface from various portions. Placking a light in the galleria, lights, small placard, wins, Arcadian stained glass window. Uh, we can touch it. Reach out to touch the undulated glass shards, but you cannot do so. Your hands just stop short of uh, touching the surface. Let's not and say we did. Let's see here. Uh, statue looks like made some angry proclamations. Sculptor has captured the essence of fury magnificently. The chiseled tension lines around the neck and forehead alone must have taken long months to get cracked. Fine cracks run along the entire statue, and there is a plaque attached to the base. Where the plaque? Statue believed to be the final fate of the Eldrissian sorcerer Gagahedron. Attacked by a conclave of rival sorcerers, the height of the dream madness. Imprisoned within a spell that turned his flesh into stone. Gagahedron is said to have been frozen to a final, awful curse upon his lips. A curse so terrible it was never meant to be stoken by the lips of a living man. Well, we know a way to fix this. By the Gorgon South statue. Smear the foul-smelling ointment over the statue. Strange shimmering around the statue, and he watches 
statue takes an intake of breath and the eyes of Gangahedra are filled with a blazing vengeful madness. Greetings? Before you can do such a thing, the blazing torrent of words flies from the sorcerer's lips. As he speaks, you can feel an agonizing sensation, like a sudden wave of raging heat poured over you and settled in your skin like a blistering wound. Blindness strikes you as your eyes burst, running from their socket like shattered eggs. You hear something screaming and realize it's you. Wait for the horror to end. Ew. Last thing you hear, even through your own cries, is Mort shouting, New taunts, all right! By the lady's bladed teats, what a... Everything suddenly falls silent, last of your senses flicker and fade away to nothing. Die horribly, a victim of Gagahedrian's awful curse. No matter, he'll be up in a bit. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, feels like I've been strained through someone's bowels. Yeah. All right. Not a good day. Well, Shadow, you want to fight? Easy enough. And we are uh, 25,000 away from gaining one more level up, which will give us some incredible power, might I add. Oh, that sent us all the way to the freaking print shop. Not the worst place to be. In the Devour of Time itself, you actually want something this time? Had a few questions. I'd like you to print up a love letter for me. Love letter, eh? Fine, it'll cost you. Let's call it a uh, hundred coins. You look desperate for this. Here you go. Takes your money, thinks for a moment, then selects a perfume sheet of paper from a drawer from the desk. Purple's few boxious or er, vivacious love struck lines and flowery elegance script. This'll do, I'm sure. Uh, it will. Farewell. Done. So that would be if you didn't right. have a uh, ability to uh, which location the portal that Boyd Laszlo spoke it would begin to play your conversation with him in your head. Maybe the secret getting in is not to want to get in. Okay, that is good information. I don't want to go in there just yet. Well, that's how you get in. Yeah, no, I, I, I literally don't want to get in. And that's when the DM Done. forces you in. No. Okay. Let's see if I can't run through a few of these quests in rapid I'm succession. Gone. First off, we know uh, who we're looking for around here. There you are. Hey, Merriman. Merriman squints up. Well, have you found something to wipe my mind with this curse of memories? I certainly hope you haven't returned without. Otherwise, you'll never get to keys to Laura's heart that way. Um. I. Huh. Okay, well I can't deal with you yet apparently, but I can still... Get in here. Sensei, Sensei, Kwashi. What the heck's that? I'll take it. I can sell it. Get the headless. Montague, there we go. Handsome young man seems lost in thought. For a slight frown of those greetings. And with these, sir, hail. What do you wish of me? Oh. I get it. 
Yeah, yeah. <sighs> uh huh. Okay, Romeo. Are you Montague? I need to speak to you about Juliet. Oh, he gives you a puzzled look, slightly um, suspicious look at you. I've never heard her speaking at the brothel. She had an affair, you know. Thou speaks faultlessly. I would uh, have thee present me proof before I lay these claims. And I also found these letters. Here, read them. He takes the letters and reads them over. Alas, tis true. She has found another who loves her passionately. Ah, oh, heartache is a sensate spate, I think. She'll move on to another love and let this other suitor uh, have her, considering the passion of her word. Wait, it was all a ruse. Eh, what do you speak of? She's trying to trick you into being more passionate. And why does she not simply say something? I don't think it really occurred to her. Apparently not. So what should be done? Turnabout's fair play. I say ignore the chit. Act distant and unconcerned. That'll spice things up considerably. Truly? Trust me, kid. Start ignoring. Educate some fiction. Leave them wondering. Then they'll be clawing all over you and discussing what the matter is. Right, chief? Uh, that's, uh, I think that's a poor idea. All right, then what's then? Uh, well, I, I guess if this is Shakespeare, say that you're having an affair. Such advice could be dangerous, but will no doubt spur her to examine her relationship and fight it to keep it. it shall be done. How shall it be committed? Um... I'll handle it. I'll say I found you with another woman. All right, then. She'll be as thou say. Uh, I'll be sure to tell him when we next meet. Farewell. And farewell to thee as well. Now I've got some things to attend to. Should we meet again? Might speak more of the matter. Montague bows and turns to go. Leave. Okay. Well, this might be interesting. Have a good one, folks. Um, actually, on second thought, I think I shouldn't say that he is having an affair, so just say your bored relationship is not interesting enough anymore. Thus saying I should feign disinterest, pique her interest? Surely this is irony. I shall agree that which thou suggests and observe the results. Uh, good luck. Hope it works out. Farewell. Farewell to thee as well. I have some things to attend to. Should we meet again? Uh, we might speak more of the matter. Let's leave. Okay, yeah, that sounds a little better. Anyway, have a good one, folks.